Alright, you know we love to see it. You know we love to hear it. Apparently, you have to see <laughs> Taking extra good care of her these days, right? <laughs> we gotta save these tread. We don't got much to save. There. Hi, Brody. Hi, dog. Kitchen Tao. What are we in? What are we in, Chucky? Well, I hate to hear it. First flight delayed. The new mission begins. But you gotta. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You can't play him that. I don't know which flight I'm on anymore. I got so many emails. Nope, they wanted me to check it. Destroyed my first flight, had to get on a new one, and then when we got here, no skateboard. Never made it out of Hartford. I'd rather honestly have lost my skateboard than my surfboard, though. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get that thing back. And hopefully TCAP shows up here any second. Yeah, boo doggy! What's up, baby? They towed it. It's gone. They towed it. Oh my god. Bit of a day. How much do you think? I mean, a week. Is that like 200 bucks a day or something? Usually 200 a day. Oh for a, for a car, big RV. Bro, this no RV. I'd literally be stoked on 500 bucks. I'd almost be stoked on a G. It looks like it would be a total of 766 to get the vehicle out. Okay, John. He said that if I dropped his name, you guys should be able to help it out a little bit. Uh, John. Yeah, big John. I wouldn't be. You sure? Maybe in the morning they do? Uh, I'm not aware of it. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Sounds good. Thank you. So good. I was like, who does this kid know? Tomorrow's gonna be Tom. You ready? You ready to drive me to the beach? Let me use your board and your wetsuit? <laughs> yeah, now I got a car. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The lady is insane. She threw. What? Are you even allowed to do that? This thing was fully checked separately. Lady jammed it in the bag. She's so lucky that this is a foamy. Doesn't even have, eh, it's got a little dent. Bell Benton. One for the trouble, two for the base. You know the style kit, it's time to flip this. Bro. Yo, it's Are good, you big dog. Me, dude? <laughs> Long time. Give me that Querpo. How's it going, dog? Are you kidding me? Do you see the little chocolate dreamers out there right dude, now? Dude, yeah. Dude, let's go to Mexico. Let's go. let's go! I like these guys! <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think TCAP is right now? Probably not mistaking something. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Italian Scrizz. You've had your daily bread. What's your daily claim? Couple dreamers. Couple dreamers. I'm gonna get barreled by your way. <laughs> I never showed that. I never showed that. I went surfing I was... the other day. 
Then when I got out of the water, there's a note on my window. It's with her number saying, call me up. I want to get barreled by your wave. Wow. <laughs> Most <laughs> impressive it, thing ever. <laughs> You're up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we already almost collided. Yeah, just get there, T Cap. Bit of a sesh, boys. <laughs> Missed all the good ones once the GoPro died. <laughs> but you know what? Did you get the party wave? Actually, we might have got the party wave. At least we didn't get towed while we were out there for $800. <laughs> you didn't get towed for $800. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that. Your total is one arm. Uh, Seven hundred and sixty-six. And fifty-eight dollars of that is just the gate fee because we are closed today. Gotta call my bank for quarter robbery. Yes. Yes. Fifty-dollar press of the button right there, huh? Oh. A lot of power that fence must take. That's funny, right? I'm gonna put it out when we Yeah, play. I got funny, I got more. Wait till we get to the rig. This. I'm up for a good time, for sure. For yeah. a I still don't understand how they would get it into neutral without having the keys. Going. Oh, brutal. Oh. See that clunk? Yo, what did she say I was supposed to do about if I had something that I think's wrong with it? What's going on, man? Yeah, I don't know what the noise is. I don't, I'm not a mechanic. My buddy was just here. He was saying that it was something. I mean, so because you have so much grease there, your bushings are broken down inside. It's kind of a normal thing that happens. So that's your problem right there. Your front and your back are loose. But I'll have my guy take a look at it. We'll pull your wheels off. We'll see if we can tighten it up. Those bolts are definitely loose. Here, he'll tighten up real quick. It's going down. How are we doing? It's going down over here. Are you kidding me? Are you going to get impounded? Yeah, let's test her out. Do I owe you anything? Do I owe him anything? I'm going to go back I'm going to go you ever go right on Yelp, put a review. Oh, I'm already on it. So yeah. how I treat people is how I want people to treat other people. Yeah, sure. So like I didn't come at you sideways. I looked at your car. I told you what's wrong with it. Told you we couldn't have done it. So don't worry, we'll, we'll help you out. That's what we're here. We're here to help people. So I hope that you will help somebody when somebody needs help, or yeah. you see a little kid struggling, show them how to surf. That's all we you know, try to do. That's all we do. It's literally the purpose of our lives. That's all about empowering yeah. people and yeah, and let spread people knowledge. Right thing. Is that Juan? Bro. Okay. Muchísimas gracias. Okay. <laughs> guy's a legend. Juan, you're the man. Thank you, bro. South side towing. Oh my God. All right. This is insane. Never in my life did I think I'd be shouting out a towing company, but this just shows how heavy and how crucial and important it is to just be a good person and to give back and how karma just goes full circle. I literally had to pay $800, got my car towed. That is the entire reason that I came back and I missed opening day at Mount Snow because I saw that I got tickets on my car that was parked in an area that normally I can park my cars for long periods of time, but I didn't realize that if it's over 22 feet, then it's considered a different vehicle and it can't be parked there. So it got towed, ended up making some weird noises and the dude told me that there's no way that I had 25 years of rot in the bushings and the bearings and whatever's going on in the front end and that he's just trying to help out 
another fellow human and they just told me to drive over to their shop and the dude put his own hours of his mechanic that he pays on salary to jack up the whip and completely tighten these bolts that were about to fall out. It's just absolutely insane and it's like, I feel like I am the poster child for adversity right now with how many gnarly things are going wrong in my life and just staying stoked the entire time and just showing that it literally does not matter how many epic, gnarly, brutal, negative things happen if you just have the perception that it's just an event and that you need to work towards fixing it and just constantly give back and do better for people, then you're gonna have times like this where now I have what would have cost me multiple hundreds of dollars at a shop incorporated into the towing bill and I've learned a lesson. So hope you guys enjoy these videos and hope you guys enjoy these lessons because we haven't really been doing too much shredding recently. We've been trying to dial in the dream and it's real. It's gnarly and we're grateful for everything that we got. So huge shout out right now to Southside Towing in Costa Mesa area, Southern California. If you guys ever need a tow, those are the guys. And yeah, just, you love to be back on the road here in this thing. She's not clanking and clapping and we're gonna go I'm trying to catch a couple sick ones. Boys are dreaming. Woo, south side towing. Unreal. Juanito. All right, Big Screws, how do we feel right now approaching the beach knowing that this could potentially be one of the best sessions of your entire <laughs> life? How does that feel? Feels pretty good. <laughs> we'll see how she goes. Do you agree with this? I agree. This I is... can't see because of fog, but I feel like it's going to be there. <laughs> oh, thank you. Almost fresh cord. Get it right onto the sand. Got your front end fixed, how you done? <laughs> Is that the call, bro? I think it might be. Oh, just the Tortuga up in here? might be going down to Mexico. The Tortuga, dude, the first Baja trip? We got it. Is the first Baja trip with her? She she's crossed the border. No, never crossed the border. She's never crossed the border. It's, it's scary. It's scary. It's sketchy. Remember the time we crossed the Nari last year? Yep, that was illegal too. Yeah. All right, you want to film me gifting TCAP his uh, big wave board as he departs from us because he just doesn't like it. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know. Is he bailing us already? No, I think he's already. He's gonna park near us. Should we even give him this thing? I think he deserves it. Does he want to hang out with us? He's going to be excited. Got a loose fire blast in there. Good luck. There it is. That's you. <laughs> How you feeling? It's just big, huh? Bit of a gun. That's your going away present. <laughs> seven six, 18, and seven eights, two nine sixteens. For Frank. <whistles> that was for TCAP. That's TCAP gun. 
Next break. <laughs> Can I even fit this in the whip? <laughs> what are the emotions going on in your body right now? I'm excited for the wave that this would be ridden. This would be used to ride. I gotta say, the length is finally there. Finally, the board. The ratio board of your length to board length is there. My body. <laughs> oh no. You gotta buy a new car. <laughs> it's yeah. an absolute tragedy. For sure. Oh. All right. Damn it, Jimmy. Throw it back in my car. <laughs> We're lightening the load. All this has got to go. This has got to go. Scrizzy's hopping in. Lightening up, so boys in. We're going to scoop Niso, and we're going to buy. We need some serious, serious blessings for this trip. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, we gotta break down this entire video right now. We started off in Connecticut. We had to leave Mount Snow opening day and not make it because my car over here, the RV, had some tickets. We came back and she was gone. We found the car, we had to pay a bunch of money, but in the long run when you're stoked and you just keep a mellow head, things always work out. We ended up getting the car fixed and that's a dream because now we're sending it down to Baja. We've been trying to get stoked and do what we can, but the GoPro footage is super gnarly and finally we got Niso Hollywood back behind the lens. So the next video should be super sick. We got some waves coming in. Now that we're back in the Tortuga, we got boxes all over the place. And we gotta start opening them. And one of the first ones that I wanna get to, I just opened it up and we got three Jackeries inside the house right now charging. What happened is they sent me a secondary smaller 500 because I got water all inside the first one. And the thing honestly started coming back to life, but I gotta give some major love and shout out to Jackery, which this thing changed my life. You guys have seen the video saying that this power source changed my life and I have a link in the description of the videos. I'm not sure how much of a discount it is, but if you guys are into anything that you need to charge and while you're traveling and vans and just batteries and anything like that, this is basically the only company. It's the most legit one ever. So in the next couple days, we're gonna be opening boxes up here, but shout out to Jackery for the absolute dream. And the final thing I wanna say before we shut this video down is that we almost got 5,000 followers on my new account on Instagram. I have to keep bringing this up at Casey Willax Vlogs. My other one got hacked. They randomly post things on that account that are Bitcoin scams. Anybody who shares my new account on their story, I am going to try again to give away that GoPro that we tried to do in that backcountry video because I announced it and I usually wait a couple weeks and if nobody answers, then I do it again. So just tag and share my new account at Casey Willax Vlogs on Instagram and I'll try to pick another person to win that GoPro. We still have it. So thank you guys for everything. I love you all so much. The dream is real. We're about to go on a gnarly mission here and I'm stoked to share it with you guys. So see you in the next couple days here. Tortuga dream. <laughs>